phenomenal night. Had a great turnout. Uh, the energy from the youth clinic through the autograph session. I think that you know it makes our guys feel good. At least feel you know big time when they get that many people wanting their autographs and to meet them and everything. Uh, then come out here and you know we wore our game jerseys for the first time. And a, lot, a lot of things that could have distracted a very immature football team, but I think our kids have, have, have worked up towards this to the point where uh, they're pretty focused. And I was proud to see the attention to detail they had tonight and how that didn't really get them off their game. Uh, and they were able to come out here and compete at a, a really high level. Really proud of them. You know, it's fun for our, our guys to just to kind of hang out with after getting yelled at for the last 20 days to hang out with some kids and. There's some cute kids out here, you know, they tackle the dummy and get up and got a big smile on their face. And I think it really helps our guys to feel, uh, feel the, you know, what, what, what gratitude is towards helping people and, and to put smiles on those kids' faces. I think it meant a lot to them. So uh, it'll continue to grow. You know, we'll do it again in the spring and we'll, you know, we'll do one kid's clinic once a year in the fall and the spring. They showed some uh, energy, which was huge, you know, a what's, ne what's next attitude. They really didn't let a lot, a lot get to them. Even when they'd have a couple negative plays, they came back and, and created some explosives. And it was good to see uh, Michael make some plays down the field, throwing the ball accurately uh, tonight. I think the O-line, we challenged them in the last 48 hours to, to learn how to protect with a little bit more strain. And I think they did a great job tonight. Uh, but the defense still had their share of sacks. You know, we let the quarterback get through the ball, so all 11, you know, all 22 can practice. Uh, down in the red zone, the defense, you know, finished the scrimmage up with two sacks in a row that knocked us out of field goal range. So. You know, I think both sides of the ball showed some flash, but at least offensively, I think that our kids came out with a little bit of swagger and, and got a lot of confidence out of the night. We've done really well so far with our you know, transfers, and we're taking these kids, uh, really good kids. Uh, Dantes Bird's one of the hardest workers on our team. Uh, you know, Michael Birdsong has been here since June. A great, great, great worker and leader. Uh, Kip's come in and really gelled well with the team. I mean, he's a phenomenal, freakish athlete. You know, Alex Carling's a big kid, you know, from. Temple as well that, that's made some catches tonight and doing a really good job at the line of scrimmage. So, uh, you know, we're really pleased with our transfers and, and how they're helping lead this team. You know, they've stepped in and they've not acted any, you know, not acted big time. They've, they've loved this team. They love this place. They love Cookville. And I think that says a lot about, you know, our team character because our, our team creates that. You come into our team, they, they mold you and force you into that mindset of being a great teammate and loving each other. So it's been pretty cool to see. That creates energy, you know, that creates energy for our kick team. And, uh, you know, anything that we can do like that to create at least a spark of energy, because all it takes is a spark, we're going to do it. And our kids, you know, we only have to tell them one time what to do. And, and again, as of right now, they're really focusing on those details and getting it done. Some of the coaches were getting soft today, saying that my third position groups were tired and all that stuff, and we're not letting up. I mean, that's how we are going to win championships here eventually, and that's because we are going to be tougher than everyone else mentally and physically. So they think they're tired now. They've got so much more in the tank. We're not letting up. We're, you know, we're going to back down. It'll back off a little bit when we get within game week, but we're going to keep going and keep going into next week, and we're going to hit every day, and we're going to be physical, and we're going to be mentally sharp, and we're going to pay attention to the details when it's hot and when we're tired, and that's going to give us an edge, I believe. Better get ready, because we're going to rock you. you.